What's going on, trainers? This is Trainer Connor, and you're going to be watching another Pokemon battle video today. Thank you for coming in. This is the weekly upload for the week. I am excited for this video. Before we start, though, if you end up enjoying the video, all you gotta do is like and subscribe. You can actually subscribe to my YouTube channel a lot easier now. If you go to the bottom right corner of this video, you should see a watermark that says PC100 and then a Pokeball near it. You click on it or you go near it and you can see a subscription button right there. You can subscribe right there on the spot. And I also updated my profile picture here on YouTube and on Twitter looks amazing, looks modern. I really like the other ones that I had in the past. I might bring those back, but this one looks amazing, fresh and clean. Now, getting to the video here, we are doing the OM of the month. Let's see if you can, let me see if I can show you guys that. The OM of the month, we have two of them available. We have Mega Mons and Merge Mons. I feel like the Merge Mons was a little bit complicated Mega Mons seemed a lot of fun. This is a monthly thing, so after September ends, I don't think this will be available, which I honestly think that this should be back in here at some point in the future, because it's a lot of fun. Um, Mega Mons especially, Merge Mons, I really don't know what that was about. Um, and by the way, if you guys have not seen the Battle Factory videos yet, you should definitely check those out. I should be doing more of those as well, but today we're going to be doing the Mega Mons. And you can see that there are multiple Megas in this tier, which is, or in this Mega game rather. And it's amazing because if you look at the team builder here, uh, we have multiple Megas, as you can see. Let me validate real quick. All right, we're, back. we're good. And uh, let's go to the list here. Let's go over here. I want to show you guys my entire team. It doesn't look like there's a way to do that. But anyway, um, yeah, the first Pokemon we have is Mega Alakazam with choice specs. Now, the idea behind it is you can bring Megas to the battle, already Mega Evolved, holding items. How crazy is that? So the first Pokemon in the squad is Mega Alakazam holding choice specs. My god, isn't that powerful? We have Psychic, Shadow Ball, Focus Blast, and Hidden Power Ice. Wonderful moveset for Mega Alakazam. And then secondarily, we have Mega Salamence holding the Lumberry with the early ability. And we have Dragon Dance, Body Slam, Outrage, and Roost. Very self-explanatory. It's like a regular Salamence set, but you're a Mega Salamence. You get it? It's amazing, right? And then, as well as the Megas you can bring, you can also bring legendary Pokemon like Arceus or Ho-Oh, Growlon, Kyogre, you name it. And we are bringing Icicle Plate Arceus, so Arceus Ice. And he's going to be our, I guess, you know, part attacker, part bulky support set. So with Judgment, which would be Ice type, with Will-O-Wisp, to burn the opponent and Calm Mind to boost up the power of Judgment and Defog to get rid of Hazards. You want to be careful when using that, of course. And then this is the Pokemon right here, okay? Mega Caniston, Silk Scarf, Unreal. That's the number one Pokemon in that Mega game, okay? Because for those who don't know, Mega Caniston attacks twice, so you can hit Fake Out twice. Seismic Toss twice, which by the way does so much damage. That's the reason why Seismic Toss does 200 damage or something like that. Absolutely insane. It's going to be very powerful. And then of course we have Return and Shadow Claw. Shadow Claw is for coverage, obviously. I have it holding the Silk Scarf. Some people have it with the Choice Scarf. You can't go wrong with either one of those items. 
So I have it with a silk scarf. I might change it later, but then you won't be able to use fake out all too well. I guess you could, but yeah, then you have to switch out. But silk scarf allows me to keep using the same moves. Different moves actually, and you can do all those things. Cool. Uh, <laughs> and then Mega B Girl is next in the squad, holding the focus sash. She's pretty much our lead, uh, aside from Candace Khan. Um, knock off, U turn. Poison Jab and Drill Run, the ability Adaptability. And then finally we have this Celesteela so on the bottom here, you can hopefully see it. Holding Leftovers, it's basically our bulky Pokemon in the squad with the Leech Seed, uh, Toxic, Substitute, and Protect. So there you go. I hope this finds it useful when you see these videos, or see these battles actually. I'll have multiple battles here in this video. So you have an idea of what Mega Mines are all about. It's really fun. So if you guys have not done it yet, you should definitely do it. So without further ado, let's jump into the battles. I'll see you guys in a moment. Alright, trainers. So we're here for the first battle out of two. And these battles are pretty fun. Hope you enjoy them. You see my opponent, you can see my team of course, if you haven't seen the team building process or my overview, I have a Mega Salamence uh, as the dedicated Pokemon for the video, with the Mega Alakazam of course, and then we have Arceus Ice, Mega Kangaskhan, Mega Beedrill, and Celesteela. You can see my opponent has a Mega Mewtwo X with a Primal Kyogre. Either Primal or Normal, I don't even know, I forgot. Um, Mega Swampert, so we can see some Rain Ash in there. Uh, Mega Salamence, and then Mega Banette, and Groudon. Regular or Primal, we don't know yet. So this should be a really fun match. Let's begin. Okay, so I'm going to begin with my Mega Beagle, Focus Sash. A very nice, dedicated lead, and we don't see the Kyogre going Primal right away, so... I think he's holding a different item in this video. I go for U-turn, it does some damage to the Salamence. I go into Arceus for the type A matchup and I was predicting him to Dragon Dance up, which is why I went for the Will-O-Wisp right there. And we catch the Mewtwo X coming in. Very useful because, well, it still does a lot of damage. If I didn't burn it, that would have done way over half. I go for Calm Mind, I thought he was going to switch, but the fact that he stayed in, that's pretty good for me. Now I have a plus one RCS Ice, ready to dish some damage to the opposition. Plus one Judgment Ice does a little bit of damage to the Kyogre coming in. Very nice. And then this Origin Pulse, I thought I could live it, and I do. But when you're doing it live, you know, you're like, I don't know. But we see Bennett, and I know why it's in here. It's going to go for the Shadow Sneak, but like, for a second, I thought that was a weird play, but the fact that you had a focus sash makes sense afterwards. Now here, I knew he was going to do something with his ability, you know, with Prankster and whatnot. He could burn me, he could set up the rain, as you see. This will allow uh, Swampert, Mega Swampert, to really put a hurting onto my Pokemon. I do get a critical hit on the U-turn right there, which is nice. I go into Celesteela, pretty much checkmate to the Mega Swampert, and holy crap, this waterfall does a lot of damage. I go for Substitute, of course, this Celesteela is one of those bulky variants that carry Substitute, Leech Seed, and Toxic, and Protect. So, it's very useful for scouting and to really chip away at things and get your HP back. Very nice set, but I don't, I don't really use Celesteela all too well. I guess I did it okay, but I didn't really use it very effectively, if you know what I'm saying. So, I go for Fake Out with Mega Kangaskhan. Of course, Mega Kangaskhan is one of the very common Pokemon in the, in the meta game here. You have multiple attacks coming your way. This is what I mean with the Seismic Toss to hit twice. Should be getting a lot of damage, like 200 damage or something. It's along those lines. I might not be accurate, but it's around there. He goes for foul play and it really doesn't do anything to Salamence. And I'm like, alright, this is pretty much a way for me to Dragon Dance up. But then I'm like, okay, I could. But then I'm like, 
Is it better to attack or set up a Dragon Dance? And initially, I should have gone for Dragon Dance because I might have been faster than the Salamence here. So, yes, I did go for the Outrage instead of Dragon Dance, which is okay. We're both using Salamence, so we're good. But it would have been better if I went for the Dragon Dance. I mean, I, I, was, I really thought about it. Seriously. I really did. I go for Fake Out once again with Kangaskhan here. My goodness! This Salamence is very powerful, but we get a double down, which are the best types of downs ever. And I go into Mega Alakazam. Trace the ability that Kyogre has. The drizzle ability there. And it really doesn't help me because of the fact that Primal Groudon is in here. So that sucks. But that's okay. I am a very fast Pokemon right here and a powerful one as well. We don't KO Groudon, which is unfortunate. He only has Groudon and Mewtwo X available. And I, I'm like, alright. I can go for knockoff here. I can knock out Groudon. Am I faster than the Mewtwo X? I should be. I mean, it's a Mega B girl, but unfortunately, he either he's scarfed or what? I don't know. I, I didn't really pay attention to the item that the Mewtwo was holding. But I really enjoyed this one because it came down to the wire and I got a nice showing of my Pokemon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. I have one more. But to get a feel for what Mega Mons is all about, I think this battle in particular was a good one. Alright, let's jump over to the next one and we'll conclude the video from there. See you guys in a moment. Okay, so we're looking at it, right? I didn't even realize it can bring the same Pokemon. My opponent has two Mega Lollios. Um, who thought that was okay? I think that's unfair if you ask me. But... You know, it's worth a shot. You have Dragon to deal with, potential Skull Soccer. Uh, Mega Gyarados can go for Dragon Dance. The two Megas, uh, two Mega Lios actually. And then um, the Mega Lucario also, and then the Mega Salamence. So again, we're both using the same Salamence, which is cool. It's in the thumbnail, so it makes sense. You can see my team right here. So nothing has changed. So we're going to go ahead and play this. It's going to be a very tough fight, but I'm hoping it should be a good one. This is what you get when you do Mega Mons. I'm telling you that right now. So he starts out with Drogagon. I'm going to go for Will-O-Wisp. Just kidding. I miss it. Which is unfortunate. And then he goes for Glare and Stealth Rocks also. What is this? I do burn it. Fortunately, on the next turn, I didn't get paralyzed. Luckily though, I have Defog and I'm going to get rid of the Stealth Rocks, but again, he can just set them up later. But I'm lucky, luckily for me, he went for Dragon Tail, so if I got him paralyzed, I would have had the Salamence be taking HP coming in from the Stealth Rocks, but thankfully, it's the exact opposite. I go for Dragon Dance on the chance that he's going to go for the Stealth Rocks again, or switch out, whatever works. I do get a plus one Salamence here, which is amazing, but then we find out that this Salamence is scarfed because I would have outsped the Salamence otherwise. So we are able to KO the Salamence from there. And then he goes into Mega Lucario. It's a little bit fast paced. I'm not really sure why he didn't go for the Bullet Punch right there. Bullet Punch is, of course, priority, therefore, he would go first. But I see he's going for Meteor Mash, trying to get the plus one boost from it. He does not get it. Here, I trace adaptability. Holy crap, that's insane. <laughs> so Shadow Ball adaptability boost, I believe, should be doing a ton of damage on top of the fact that I'm max special attack and holding choice specs. The two hit KO on the first Mega Lions. Here, he goes into the Gyarados, I thought it was a Dragon Dance variant, but it's a Z Celebrate set, which is incredibly frightening, I should say. And then he reveals the Dragon Dance. So he's both of those. I mean, are you kidding me? This is a recipe for disaster. Luckily, though, Sila Sila should be a really good check. Once again, you know, it really walls all the water type Pokemon. So, very. Grateful for Celestila and the fact that he went for the 
toxic. This strategy should work. What I'm trying to do is wear it down. So we get a double down, most likely, or not necessarily a double down, but the fact that I can KO the scary ghost and then someone else can revenge kill me. That would be ideal. I mean, what else can I do? I am trying to get rid of this huge threat. We've got plus two attack, plus one defense in all areas, and um, max speed as well. So I really wanted to get rid of this thing as quickly as possible, and we're able to do it. Thank the Lord. All right, so here is Mega Lios Part Two. He has Reflect, which okay, so maybe one of them is a bulky set, and then one of them is an offensive variant, which would make sense. But why would you put in the same Pokemon? Like that's just not fair. Anyway, so we see Lucario coming in, and we are able to KO it because of the fact that Celestia is boss. Therefore, the match ends. I win this one. He kind of got frustrated from it, but that's okay. I didn't get a chance to use my B-Grill or my Kangaskhan, but you guys saw the rest of it in the other fight. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I should get a few more matches with this, but it's kind of hard to find matches on here for some reason. But that's the OM of the month. If you guys really want to try it, you should go on over to Pokemon Showdown, click OM of the month, and then you can scroll down and see Merge Mons and Mega Mons. Click on the Mega Mons and you can have a team of a lot of Pokemon. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to like and subscribe. See you later, trainers.